pretty miserable. I guess that's the only way you can really describe that one. You know, everybody says it was lightweight. You know, it was lightweight for the first seven, eight rounds, and then after that, I don't think it was real light. What got me was low back got tight. Um, other than that, you know, box jumps just suck no matter what. Plus push-ups, can't get any momentum with them, doing them like the game style, so it was brutal. This was definitely a weakness of mine. A 15-minute AMRAP's not fun. It's a lighter weight than I would normally use, so it's a good workout for me to, to work on. About 10 minutes. That was the real gut check time, I guess. Um, maybe even a little bit before that is when it got a little, or not a little tough, but real tough. So This week, we kind of messed around with this workout. Just did like a, did one, rested a minute five times just to kind of see what the pace was, was like and how, how tough it was going to be, but that was never really prepare you. It's just kind of getting getting a rhythm for the movements. Three, two, one, go! Week one, Thursday of the first week, not the second week. I did it um, in the morning. We just kind of messed around with it. I got nine rounds plus nine. Didn't plan on doing it again, um, but then we, uh, so Friday nights in, in Cookville, we've been doing these little throwdowns, little community throwdown. And, Coach Pugh talked me into it. He's like, Why don't you, you know, just do it for the people. He's like, you don't have to kill yourself, go all out, and I end up better in my score, I think by 38 or something like that. So um, it helped. We got a lot of football players come in and support us, which is awesome. A lot of people from the community come in and support us. It's, uh, it's a real fun, real fun deal to get out in front of the people. It's almost like your, your hometown crowd type thing. You know, they, they see and hear about stuff, but they never really get to see it because it's either in you know, sectionals was in Alabama, regionals was in Florida, and the games was in LA, so they don't get to see it in person. So for them to see it in person is pretty cool. These two workouts aren't my strength. Uh, lighter weight stuff, longer duration, you know, it's not long duration, but it's a longer, they're not my, my cup of tea. So these are weaknesses for me, so why not work on them? The only way to get better at CrossFit is to do CrossFit. Last one, Rich, keep that back. Man. Yes, sir. I don't really have one particular strength but I try to limit my weaknesses. We got stronger, which is good. Metcon's relatively the same. I've been rowing every day just to try to, you know, keep my, I don't know, build some capacity, but just because I hate rowing with a passion. But uh, I, I mean, I'd like to be a little bit lighter and keep the strength just to make some of the gymnastic movements easier, but <clears throat> I don't know really not trying to lose or gain or anything like that. This is uh, I usually test on Saturdays. Um, so organic, pure, I don't know, it's, it's whole milk, but that's it. And then we got chocolate here, but there'll be, I think, 50 guys in the, the games this year and 50 different training strategies, so who knows. Well, guess, I guess that's how we'll see, see who wins. Since you won the first one, mm -hmm. You got two thousand eleven dollars. Yeah. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't know. Probably uh, the fiance will probably take a lot of that for the wedding. So um, I'm not really gonna say what we're gonna do with it because I I probably won't get to get to use any of it. And it'll probably go to the wedding.